As the semester winds down and students head into Christmas break, many schools are trying to figure out what to do when kids return for next semester. And for one of the area's largest school districts, that plan means kids back in the classroom. Good evening, I'm Ann Allred, in for Kay Quinn. And I'm Art Holliday, in for Mike Bush. The Parkway School District Board made the decision because of, quote, complications with in-person learning. Jasmine Payute has been following this story and joins us live from the administration building in Chesterfield. Jasmine? All right, and this decision was not without pushback from parents and teachers who say the vote is happening too far in advance and at a time when COVID-19 positivity rates are still high in St. Louis County. This year has been very challenging for me because as a sixth grader starting a new school, it's impossible to make new friends when we can't go to school. From sixth grade students to passionate parents and teachers. I am greatly concerned that the decisions made by Parkway and the board respectfully are failing to address the evidence of COVID within the Parkway community. Concerned residents made their voices heard during a virtual Parkway School District board meeting Monday. The topic, returning to in-person learning for the second semester. If it is so safe to return and we are all so anxious to get back to face-to-face -to -face learning, then why is the Parkway School Board still meeting in a virtual environment? After public comment, the board voted unanimously to send students back into classrooms in 2021. The 7 0 vote allowing students grades K through 12 to learn in person four days a week. Well, we know that many of our kids have been struggling at home and in the blended model. And we all know that kids, most of our kids, do best in school. Deputy Superintendent Chelsea Watson spoke with us following the nearly two hour long meeting. What we do know is there are going to be bumps in the road. We are still going to have quarantines with students and with staff. But some staff members say quarantining is not enough. They express concerns over the ability to social distance. A full capacity return would mean that six feet between students cannot be done. No classroom is large enough to do that. On designated virtual learning days, which will be Monday, custodians will come in and clean the classrooms. Families who previously chose virtual learning will continue to do so for the rest of the year. Live tonight, Jasmine Payute, Five on your side.